A short while ago, Iron Maiden released their 17th studio album, Senjutsu. But looking at the comments on social media, it seems the Maiden fans are quite divided in their opinions about the record. Some love it, some are indifferent, while others actively dislike it. So I thought I'd like to address some of these criticisms made about Senjutsu. Now, I'm not asking you to change your opinion. Your opinion is as valid as anyone else's. It's just a calm, cool discussion. Personally, I love the record and enjoy it from start to finish. Ian Pace, when talking about the new Deep Purple album last year, said it's so difficult to try and come up with new, fresh ideas in Western rock music because one, the palette you have to draw from is quite limiting, and two, most things have been done. With Senjutsu, I feel Maiden have blended together all the things that made them such an exciting band, while adding little dashes here and there of classic rock, quite a bit of prog, and even a little country on writing on the wall. Another criticism I saw on social media, that these guys have gone soft. Well, Let's be honest, these guys are now in their 60s. I think Nico McBrain what, is 69. They're not going to have the same drive. They're not going to have that perspective they had on life when they were 20 or 30. It's not going to be 80s Maiden. It's not going to be 90s Maiden. It's going to be Maiden in 2020. But if you think the band have gone soft, go and see them live and then come back to me. Remember, this is a band who took heavy metal by the scruff of the neck and turned it into an art form. Probably, no, not probably, definitely the best metal band ever and certainly the most influential. You have the maestro that is Mr. Steve Harris with those incredibly fast, dense bass runs. Have you ever tried to play that way? It's nigh on impossible. With that, he creates with Mr. Nico McBrain, the Iron Maiden Gallop, and those fantastic rhythmic backdrops for the three guitarists just to bounce off. And of those guitarists, Dave Murray, probably the one who's most seeped in blues rock. Adrian Smith with his wonderful gift for melody, and the Richie Blackmore-influenced Yannick Gers. Then Bruce Dickinson, though that great voice is showing a few signs of wear and tear, as it would. He can still put across pride, rage, sadness, passion like no one else out there. So for me, all the elements that made the band great haven't gone or disappeared. They are just changing, progressing like any great band does instead of being stuck in a musical cul-de-sac. Now, over the past few years, Maiden have for me been introducing more and more prog rock elements into their music especially Senjutsu, which contains some Mellotrons, or what passes for Mellotrons these days. Steve Harris and Bruce are huge Jeffro Tull fans, and there are more than a few Tull influences on the new album. Check out 4 minutes 40 seconds into Lost in a Lost World. That riff would fit perfectly into any Tull album. Or the opening to Hell on Earth, which more than mirrors Tull's Mountain Men. And if you want to model on how to sing, phrase, and get melody into epic length songs, Ian Anderson is the man. So all in all, yes, I see Maiden changing, moving forward, trying new ideas. And like I said, Sanjutsu for me is a great album, but you might think differently. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Stay safe, stay well. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.